The Magic Valley's own Lydia Rose Miller is the reigning Miss Rodeo Idaho. In the year since being crowned, she's crisscrossed the country sharing her take on the rodeo way of life. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton. I got a chance to hang out with Lydia as she prepares to head to Las Vegas for the Miss Rodeo America pageant first week in December. Here, but this is my first queen buckle ever. Rodeo runs deep in Lydia Miller's family. So from little Arco Atomic Days ambassador to Miss Rodeo Idaho, it's kind of been an insane journey in a matter of eight years. <laughs> Poor rodeo queens, the crown gets passed down, but the buckles you keep. This case, a special place for buckles won by the whole family. I have to say this is one of my favorite buckles because as I kind of mentioned before, horsemanship is the biggest part of any pageant. We have to know how to ride to be a rodeo queen. She attended rodeos as a kid with her grandparents and watched her parents compete. But once she realized how hands-on these rodeo queens are, she was hooked. I think that just seeing the opportunities that these girls had to work with stock contractors with these rodeos and do more than just be a smiling pretty face, that was really inspiring to me. Now Lydia is gearing up for the biggest event of her entire pageant career, the Miss Rodeo America pageant, which starts December 3rd in Las Vegas. So this is kind of the, the big one, you know, this is what I've been training for and leading up to my entire queen career. There will be all kinds of competitions, and you better believe the rodeo queens will be dressing to impress. Lydia is keeping details about her outfits under her hat until she makes them public for the first time at a send-off party at the Twin Falls County Fairgrounds on the 18th. They are among some of my favorite colors and outfits that I've helped work on. I've helped make myself. My mom has been a huge part of this. And we did a lot of this with tools and, and things from my great grandmother, who was very important in my life when I was younger. A woman with many talents. Add to the list leather crafting. She tooled these shafts special for Vegas with images important to That's Idaho part, and though. important to her. I took a couple of pictures of my parents and tooled them onto the leather. So this is my mom barrel racing. You can even see she used to take her foot out of the stirrup to miss the barrel so she wouldn't knock it. Uh, yeah, so she was, she was a pretty cool rider, in my opinion. And then my dad was a bareback rider. He loved riding, riding buck and horses. That was kind of his thing. So, of course, I had to include that on there with the Sawtooth Mountains and a Western White Pine as well. In under two minutes, she freehanded a horse into some leather while I watched. Like this, a lot of it's your fun floral patterns and things like that. I love doing things a little bit differently, and drawing horses was always my favorite thing growing up. So they're one of my favorite things to tool on the leather. 90 seconds of chamfering later, voila. You'll have a chance to see those special rodeo outfits on Saturday night when they're unveiled at a send-off party at the Twin Falls County Fairgrounds. We'll have information on that as well as the Miss Rodeo America pageant on our website, IdahoNews6.com. In Buell, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Lori Nettleton, Idaho News 6.